Sagittarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 9th through the 15th. Can't believe we're already mid-month, ladies and gents. Let's tune right in. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get five shuffles and get an overview of what the Sagittarians are dealing with. This is going to be a love reading, ladies and gents. So let's see what the energies are saying for you guys. Sagittarians dealing with during this time. Let's get two more shuffles. So one and two. <clears throat> I just took a nap, so my hair may be a bit pillowish. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Oh, wow, check this out. Well, Sagittarius, it seems as if you've dealt with some sort of abandonment that could be turning around. All right, so from this element of abandonment of a situation, of a relationship, somebody here could be coming forward and expressing themselves. It could be an apology. Nevertheless, it seems as if this is being compelled towards unity. All right, Knight of, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So the overall energy of this reading is going to be of expressing emotions. Let's see where this goes. Let's, let's go with the flow, ladies and gents. What is this Five of Pentacles? This is a card of abandonment here. Somebody got abandoned. You could abandon someone or someone could have abandoned you. The world card, this could have been an ending of a situation, an ending of a relationship. But here comes another ending. There's a cycle that's coming in. The fool. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. They're breaking from the situation. So if you weren't in, in this element of abandonment, there's a shift taking place here. Wheel of Fortune. All major arcanas, ladies and gents. We got the world card. We have... The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Major turn of events. Somebody here is coming out of the dark. Somebody here is coming out of this sense of abandonment. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. <clears throat> What's going on? So this is now, we're moving into the Page of Cups, which is all about expression. This could be an apology coming forward here. All right. An emotional message being expressed. What is this page of cups? Page of wands. This could very much be you coming forward, wanting to express yourself. We got the card of the messenger, fire energy. Mm, the emperor. Wow. Ace of cups. There's a huge dichotomy here in regards to somebody. Interestingly, Sagittarius, we got both the emperor and the empress. All right. Nevertheless, it seems that somebody is approaching an emperor. The emperor could be an Aries that you could be dealing with. <clears throat> Again, this could be you. We're going to figure this out, right? I'm going to be pulling energy for you and the energy of your person here in just a moment. So this will make sense as we progress. But nevertheless, somebody, the emperor, is being approached with some sort of heartfelt message. Ooh. The devil energy. I mean, whomever it is that's approaching this emperor has definitely been in a rut. They've been in a in a very, very obsessive energy. Hmm. Somebody here, somebody here could have been obsessing over you, or you of somebody here, Sagittarius. All right. Nevertheless, somebody here is coming forward to rectify something. The justice, bringing truth to a matter, speaking their truth, cutting out any clutter. Establishing justice, establishing order. So, <clears throat> given this energy that I'm seeing here, this five, it could have been a, a major sense of imbalance within a relationship. Something here could have just abruptly been abandoned and it was just discombobulated. Now, somebody here is coming forward wanting to express themselves and bring about balance or justice to, to a situation. I feel that somebody is definitely coming forward genuinely trying to express or wanting to express some sort of truth. Okay, for the sake of moving past an imbalance, an injustice. Now, let's look at the Sempress energy. What's going on here with the Sempress energy? <clears throat> the Knight, or rather, King of Wands. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a fire sign. We got two court cards here. We got the Knight of Wands and we got the King of Wands. We just had the Page of Wands and the Emperor. All fire cards. All fire element cards, all right? So let's see. Tell me more about this. The devil energy again. All right. 
There was most certainly a turning of back. Somebody here turned their back to a situation. All right, they turned their back to a situation because they were done with the toxicity. It was definitely this empress or this emperor. This person here had turned or has their back turned to the toxicity of this situation. And I feel that, wow, this relationship is definitely something significant. Okay, there's some sort of spiritual connection to it, which makes sense. I mean, the emperor and the empress. Wow, speaking of which, we got the emperor again. There's that cue. You guys have a spiritual connection with somebody here. And given the devil being here, it's like... This obviously is felt on both ends, ladies and gents. This is a connection that is undeniable. Okay, you guys have remained linked with one another despite the discombobulation, emotional discombobulation. Alright, the world card. And I feel that there's a lack of closure between you and somebody here. Sagittarius. Interesting. A lack of closure, and this is exactly where this is going. Closure of a chapter, the beginning of a new phase. Whether you guys are going to be together or not, we shall see. The Hermit, this could be indicative of no. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what is Sagittarius' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Sagittarius' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? <clears throat> let's take a look. What is Sagittarius' energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? Four of Cups and the Emperor here at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius, what's going on here? It seems that you are experiencing a major disillusion with whomever it is that you're connecting with. I feel that you're very disappointed. I feel that you are a bit depressed, to be frank. There's a, a major sense of disappointment here what I'm looking at, and you're having a hard time looking past this. You're having a hard time finding the avenue in order to surmount this. But you are compelled towards this energy of the wounded warrior, which speaks of moving forward, which speaks of surmounting the challenges and difficulties. But I do feel you stuck. Okay? Hmm. Speaking of which, the seven of coins... Very much stuck energy here, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with. Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is, the Hermit. So, interesting. You feel as if you're quite withdrawn from this situation. I feel that you're going deep within yourself. Sagittarius, I feel you're quite bothered about this, to be frank. I feel that you may be cutting somebody out or you have some serious barriers up towards this situation. I feel that you're compelled to go within yourself, ultimately distancing your... Distance... Distance... Distancing. <laughs> distancing yourself. You're distancing yourself from this on an emotional level due to its conflict, due to the friction that you are experiencing. You want a new, you want a new chapter. I feel like you're wanting to close something out. I feel like you're wanting to close something out. You're wanting to put something behind you because it's just completely discombobulating. And I get the sense that you're wanting to move towards stability within the situation. I feel that you're done with being isolated, withdrawn, going through challenge and difficulty. And I feel that you're wanting to turn the page to the story and move towards possible relationship here. Is that what I'm saying? Cannot negate the fact that you are very, very depressed and disillusioned, but do you actually see potential in this? Sagittarius, I get a lot of self-sabotaging energy. I feel that you are just drifting further and further away from the situation, even though, even though you still feel it in your energy. I mean, you seem to have a very difficult time getting this person out of your mind, out of your emotional state. You seem quite consumed about this individual or this relationship. And I feel that you are somewhat having a hard time coping with it. Look at that. Speak of the devil. You're having a hard time coping with this, Sagittarius. I mean, it's quite clear. It's quite clear and I really feel that you aren't necessarily dealing with it appropriately. Hmm, Sagittarius. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Four of Wands? 
Going on here with the Four of Wands, the Emperor. So you could have been married. Some of you guys were in a serious relationship. Look at this, Ten of Cups. Some of you guys were married to this Emperor. All right, and it could have been an Aries that you were dealing with, Sagittarius. All right, could have been moving towards a high level of commitment. You guys could have been in a commitment. All right, it doesn't have to be marriage. It's just it has a foundation of commitment here. So you guys were definitely in a relationship with this person. But tell me more, the Ace of Cups. Why the Ace of Cups? Why the Ace of Cups? The judgment. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> How does Sagittarius feel about this individual? What are their feelings towards this individual? The four, of, the four of Swords. So you're definitely taking a break. I feel like you're isolated. I feel like you're distanced. You're going through hell. You are absolutely weighed by the challenge, by the fallout, by the difficulty that this has brought upon your life. And I feel that you are recovering. I feel that you are distancing yourself, as I mentioned earlier, in order to deal with this. But even then, as much as distance as I see between you and this individual on your end, I feel that you're having a very, very hard time turning the page to this chapter. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. Whomever it is that Sagittarius is dealing with, what is their energy toward Sagittarius? Whomever it is that Sagittarius is connected to, who, whomever it is, what is this individual's energy toward Sagittarius? The King of Pentacles. Hmm, we got the Emperor here again. The Two of Cups. Interesting. So, tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. Tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords. Sagittarius, it seems like you got somebody here wanting to come towards you. Wanting to communicate. Wanting to break some sort of silence and get on... I feel like this individual wants to get on the same page with you. All right. They may be met with interference, such as your defensive walls, your lack of engagement, but somebody here wants to come forward towards you. The lovers. Wow. Again, somebody here wants unity, ladies and gents. The empress at the bottom of the deck. The devil energy. Wow. So look. This, this is essentially the same spectrum, right? This is the same spectrum, just two different sides to the coin. The devil energy is card number 15. One plus five equals six. All right. So there's a real strong tie here. There's a real strong tie. There actually, there is love here. There is love. There is this element of purity when it comes to the connection between you guys. But there is also toxicity. All right. There's also toxicity. So, I mean, I'm just getting a sense of, a, a, it's like a, a potential high vibration in this connection between you two. You guys may be separated right now. Four of cups, right? Taking a time out, taking a break. Dis, disillusioned, may be absolutely consumed with negativity when it comes to this relationship, Sagittarius. But I feel that there's some sort of chemistry between you and this individual that when you guys unite, things can actually be quite strong. Or could be felt on a strong degree, on a strong level. All right, tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. The Emperor. There you go. You are dealing with this Emperor, and it really seems that this Emperor here, somebody is taking charge. Sagittarius, they're wanting to come forward here. This is a relationship from the past. This person here is wanting to come forward and express themselves with the uh, intention of bringing about balance within a situation. So, all in all, Sagittarius, it seems that you are on the receiving end of this. Now, this isn't going to resonate with all of you, okay? This message isn't for all of you, but for those that I am connecting with, you definitely got somebody here coming towards you. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a, an Aries, it could be an Aquarius. Nevertheless, somebody here loves you. Somebody here loves you. They want to they wanna be in good terms with you. And I feel that. They're coming forward here, Sagittarius. So this week, it seems like 
you got a situation, someone that you share a really strong connection with. All right, some sort of relationship from the past. Devil Energy Lovers, Six of Cups, is coming back around for the sake of healing. All right. Now, this is someone that has taken initiative, taking charge, taking control in order to make this happen, Sagittarius. And it's coming forward in a form of possibly an apology or some sort of kindred message. Ladies and gents, remember this is a general reading. The roles may actually be reversed. All right. Not all of you are going to resonate with this. Nevertheless, Sagittarius, I'm going to get some advice. Any, any message that wants to come forward here, any message of guidance for those Sagittarians that I'm connecting with. And then following this, I'm taking this to the extended where I'm going to completely expand on this emperor, whomever it is that's coming towards you. I'm going to look into their feelings. I'm going to look into their future vision with you. All right, what future do they envision with you? And then I'm going to look at their actions. I'm going to deconstruct their actions as well as the future of this situation. But before we go there, I'm going to get any words of wisdom for you, Sagittarius. Anything that will facilitate Sagittarius on their journey. Four of Swords. I feel you very, very overburdened, Sagittarius. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I feel you very overburdened. I feel that you do have love for this individual. I feel that you do have, that you do hold space in your heart for this person as well. All right. But even if that's the case, you are definitely not in a position to be emotionally available. And the reason being is because you need healing. You need to heal yourself. So I'm here to tell you that it benefits you to actually isolate yourself from this. I feel that there's a, a huge sense of intensity in this relationship and it is to your benefit to take time out for yourself, to unstuck yourself. Because I feel that right now, you are being your own worst enemy. I feel that it is your own thoughts. It is your navigation of your own emotional state, which is putting you in a very difficult position, ultimately hindering balance, hindering healing within yourself. So even if you wanted to heal the situation, you cannot expect to heal the situation when you yourself are not healed. Sagittarius. Nevertheless, you got someone coming your way. You got someone coming your way, ladies and gents. Sag, this is what I got for you. I'm going to take this to the extended. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.